Hi guys, this is Rafi. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how we can download and install Google Forms on our local computers. We usually use Google Forms on our websites as web fonts, but a lot of us don't know that Google Forms can be downloaded and installed on our desktop computers too. Therefore, we can use Google Forms as regular desktop fonts. This is my website. I beg your pardon as I can show you any good stuff here. In fact, my website is still under construction. I'm just using it as an example. Whatever you can see, I used very popular Google font Roboto as my blog font. I use a Firefox add-on to detect web fonts quickly. Now I am using the add-on to show you the font family. Here you can see the font I am using here is Roboto. Well, the interesting thing is I installed Roboto on my laptop for using with Microsoft Word files too. Here you can see I installed almost all Roboto font variants. Roboto Black, Roboto Thin, Roboto. I will convert my text to Roboto Black now. Now it's Roboto, Roboto Black in fact. Well, how did I do it? To install Google Fonts on your computer, you need to follow only two steps. First of all, you need to download the font from fonts.google.com and then you need to install the downloaded font as usual font installation. Well, for example, we will install these two Google Fonts, Sunflower and New Wave. First of all, we will check whether the fonts are installed on my computer or not. Let's search for Sunflower first. You can see Sunflower is not installed, it's not showing here in the list. Now we'll search for another font New Wave. And here you can see again, the font is not unlisted. Well now we'll head over to Google Fonts website to download the fonts. Fonts.google.com is the address. I provided the link in video description. So don't be worried. Here you can see a lot of Google fonts are displayed. You can scroll down to see even more. And you can search for any specific Google font from here. In our case we will search for sunflower now. This is sunflower. First we will select the font using this plus icon. You can see one minimized window added to the bottom of the window. It says one font family is selected. If we maximize the window, we will see sunflower is shown here. If you want to remove a selection, you can click on this minus icon. I will undo it as I want to keep the font family. Let's search for another font, new wave and uh, this is new wave select new wave as before and we can see two font families selected now new wave and sunflower is selected to download the fonts we need to click on the download icon from here ok to save files We see fonts are downloaded. I'll copy the fonts from here and paste on the desktop so that you can see it easily. In fact, my download folder is a little bit messy. The fonts come within a zip file. We need to unzip it. Inside the fonts folder, we see separate folders for new event sunflower. 
first we will install new app copy the font file but don't copy this text file you should copy only the font file just copy the font file and go to control panel then fonts now just paste the copied font file here installation process is going on and done new web is now installed we will search for the newly installed font now it's new web and we can see new web is now coming on the list here you can see new web now let's change the fonts to new web and see the beauty it's now new web it means new web is now installed on our computer let's install another font sunflower copy the font files only don't copy the text file as i said before now paste the copied files here you can see fonts are installing now again go back to word file search for sunflower and here you can see sunflower is now on the list now we can use sunflower select and change to sunflower go to sunflower and done now the font is sunflower so that's pretty much it well one more thing if you want to delete a font you need to go to control panel then fonts like before and then find the fonts which you want to delete and just right click on the font and click on the delete but at this moment sunflower will not be deleted actually this is now being used by the ms word file so i need to close the ms word file before close it now if i right click on sunflower and click on delete button the font will be deleted you can see the font is now deleted now if i open microsoft word again I shouldn't see sunflower font in the list. Just click on the list and search for sunflower. And here you can see this sunflower font is now not shown on the list. It means sunflower font is now deleted. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and if my video came into your assistance please hit the like button and share the video with your social media accounts. My channel is pretty new, so your shares will help my channel to grow further. If you want to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button too. I plan to publish at least one video in every week, hence you are never going to miss any of my videos. Thanks again for watching my video, take care, bye bye.